the next 10 minutes, you're going to learn how to create an Eisenhower matrix, which is the proven system that top CEOs and military leaders use to instantly cut through the chaos and know what to work. This is the Eisenhower matrix, your secret weapon to productivity. It helps you separate what actually matters from the noise. Let's break it down. There are four quadrants that you will group your tasks and activities into. Do first, which is grouped by urgent and important. Schedule it, which is not urgent, but important. Delegate it, which is urgent, but not important. And delete it, which is not urgent and not important. Now that you know how it works, let's take a look at it now in Smartsheets. If you Google Smartsheet and Eisenhower Matrix, it will take you to this website where they have uh, great examples of layouts of the quadrants. Once again, what's interesting to note though is in here, they actually don't have a link to a template within Smartsheet, uh, but rather they're providing links of how to set this up in PowerPoint or Google Slides or Word or Google Docs or, or all the other tools besides Smartsheets. Uh, which I thought was interesting. But let me show you how to do it in Smartsheet as an example. And so this is the final deliverable that I, that I worked on a little bit earlier, uh, but I'm gonna show you how I created this. And so we're gonna start off by just uh, creating a new sheet. I'm gonna do a, a grid. And when we do that, here's the default of what is being created. And so I am going to now uh, delete a couple of columns that we don't need. Maybe we want to keep end date, we'll get rid of start date, and maybe we want to keep status, and the assign to column is great. So we're going to rename this one and call this task name. And now we need to add in the other columns, which is going to be the urgency, and that's going to be a drop down list, and we're going to say it's not urgent or urgent, and that it can only be one value. And the next one is going to be importance. So we're going to type that in here. We're going to select drop down list. We're going to hit important or not important and restrict that value to one cell. Uh, now we have the ability to do that, but once again, it's not really doing it. And I'll just change this to task one and you can put it to any assignee. But um, what you'll notice is that there's no color coordination, conditional formatting. So I'm gonna turn that on right over here, conditional formatting. We're gonna create a, a new rule and we're gonna set the condition that if urgency is urgent, right? And uh, we're gonna set that as urgent like we just did, okay? And we wanna say, and importance is also important, then we want to apply this format color. So we're going to make that one, for example, uh, I'll do red. Make sure the text we can actually read with it being white. Okay, and we're going to hit okay. And so if we flip this now to urgent and important, there you go, it lights up red for you. And so we're going to do that same concept with the other conditions. So we're going to say not urgent, then we're going to select once again and set another condition, which is importance is we're still going to do important. And we're going to make that one, for example, orange. And we'll keep going here and do it for not urgent. Got to add that condition again. I totally forgot, right? And we're going to say not important. So we have urgency is urgent and it's important. Urgency is not urgent and it is uh, important. And now we have urgency is not urgent uh, and not important. And so we're going to make that yellowish color. Great. And then the last one is not urgent and not important, which we just did here. Okay, so the last rule we're gonna do is urgency is still urgent, importance is urgency is urgent, and we're gonna make an and statement there, and importance is not important. So that should cover everything off now, and I'll make this one green as an example, and we'll hit okay. 
So if we save that now, if we put in the other ones in here, uh, we should see the conditional effect formatting automatically turn on. Um, and so that's it, how you do it in Smartsheet. But once again, Smartsheet is similar to Monday. It doesn't have any of the quadrants uh, that's, uh, that Notion or ClickUp have. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Thank you.